Well, good morning, SCCC family, and welcome back to our journey through the Bible in Studio 379 again today. We are going to be looking at Ezra. What's Ezra got for us? Stick around. Chapter 1. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and also put in writing, <clears throat> Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever is among you, of all his people, may his God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem, and let each survivor in whatever place he sojourns be assisted by the men of his place with silver and gold, with goods and with beasts, besides free will offerings for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the heads of the fathers' houses of Judah, and Benjamin, and the priests, and the Levites, everyone whose spirit called or spirit God had stirred to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem. And all who were about them aided them with vessels of silver, with gold, and goods, with beasts, and with costly wares, besides all that was freely offered. Cyrus the king also brought out the vessels of the house of the Lord that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and placed in the house of his gods. Cyrus king of Persia brought these out in the charge of Mithradath the treasurer who counted them out to Sheshbazar the prince of Judah. And this was the number of them. Thirty basins of gold, one thousand basins of silver, twenty-nine censers, thirty bowls of gold, four hundred and ten bowls of silver, and one thousand other vessels. All the vessels of gold and silver were five thousand four hundred. All these did Sheshbazer bring up when the exiles were brought up from Babylonia to Jerusalem. Chapter 2 Now these were the people of the province who came up out of the captivity of those exiles whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried captive to Babylonia. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah, each to his own town. They came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Reliah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvi, Rehum, and Bana. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the sons of Perash, 2172, the sons of Shephatiah, 372, the sons of Era, 775, the sons of Pahath Moab, namely the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2812, the sons of Elam, 1254, the sons of Zatu, 945, the sons of Zakai, 760, the sons of Bani, 642, the sons of Bebai, 623, the sons of Asgad, 1222, the sons of Adonakam, 666, the sons of Bigvi, 2056, the sons of Aden, 454, the sons of Ater, namely of Hezekiah, 98, the sons of Bezae, 323, the sons of Jorah, 112, the sons of Hashem, 223, the sons of Gibar, 95, the sons of Bethlehem, 123, the men of Netepha, 56, the men of At Thoth, 128, the sons of Asmaveth, 42, the sons of Kiriath Aaron, Shapira, and Biroth, 743, the sons of Ramah and Geba, 621, the men of Michmas, 112, the men of Bethel and I, 223, the sons of Nebo, 52, the sons of Magbish, 156, the sons of the other Elam, 1254, the sons of Haram, 320, the sons of Lod, Hadid, and Anol, 725, the sons of Jericho, 345, the sons of Sinah, 3630, the priests, the son of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, 973, the sons of Amr, 1052, 
the sons of Pasher, 1247, the sons of Haram, 1017, the Levites, the son of Jeshua and Cadmiel, the sons of Hodaviah, 74, the singers, the sons of Asaph, 128, the sons of the gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Ater, the sons of Talmon, and the sons of Akka, the sons of Hatita, and the sons of Shobai, in all, 139. The temple servants, the sons of Ziha, and the sons of Hashopha, the sons of Taboeth, the sons of Kiros, the sons of Sia, the sons of Padon, the sons of Lebanon, the sons of Hagabah, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hagab, the sons of Shamli, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gideel, the sons of Gehar, the sons of Rhea, the sons of Rezin, the sons of Nakoda, <coughs> the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uza, the sons of Passia, the sons of Besai, the sons of Asna, the sons of Munim, the sons of Nephizim, the sons of Bakbuk, the sons of Hakopha, the sons of Harbor, the sons of Basloth, the sons of Mehida, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barcos, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tima, the sons of Neziah, and the sons of Hatifa. The sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Hasapharath, <coughs> the sons of Peruda, the sons of Jala, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gideel, the sons of Shaphatiah, the sons of Hatiel, the sons of Pachareth, Hazabane, and the sons of Amy, the temple servants, and the sons of Solomon's servants were 392. The following were those who came up from Telmela, Telharsha, Cherub, Adon, and Immer, though they could not prove their father's houses or their descent, whether they belonged to Israel, the sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, and the sons of Nakoda, 652. Also, the sons of the priests, the sons of Habiah, the sons of Hakaz, sons of Barzillai, who had taken a wife from the daughters of Barzillai, the Gileadite, <coughs> and was called by their name. These sought their registration among those enrolled in the genealogies, but they were not found there, so they were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor told them that they were not to partake of the most holy food until there should be a priest to consult Urim and Thummim. The whole assembly together was 42,360, besides their male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337, and they had 200 male and female singers. Their horses were 736, their mules were 245, their camels were 435, and their donkeys were 6720. Some of the heads of the families, when they came out to the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem, made free will offerings for the house of of God to erect it on its site, according to their ability to give to the treasury of the work 61,000 derricks of gold, 5,000 minas of silver, and 100 priest's garments. Now the priests of Levites, some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants lived in their towns, and all the rest of Israel in their towns. So that's going to wrap up our reading in the first two chapters of Ezra. A lot of names there, all the people that are going to be used in the rebuilding of the temple. Tomorrow we're going to get into starting to build that temple and uh, see what we have from Ezra on rebuilding that temple. And until we get together again next time, I would ask that the Lord would richly bless you. Yes, you. Have a great and godly day, and I'll see you later.